Welcome to an example on how to solve a linear equation in one variable with variable terms on both sides of the equation. Looking at our equation, notice how we do have a fraction on the right side of the equation, and looking at our steps below, we do have an option to multiply both sides of the equation to clear the fractions from the equation, but because we only have one fraction, let's go ahead and work with the fraction in the equation. As we go through the solution process, we will be creating equivalent equations, and this is why whatever operation we perform on one side of the equation, we must also perform on the other. To begin, we want to simplify both sides of the equation by clearing parentheses and combining like terms. Well, the right side of the equation does not simplify, but we can simplify the left side of the equation by distributing the negative three and combining like terms. Let's begin by distributing the negative three. Negative three times y is equal to negative three y. And then we have plus negative three times six, which is plus negative 18, which is equivalent to minus 18. And then we have minus y. Let's write minus y as minus one y equals on the right side, one half plus two y. And now we continue simplifying on the left side of the equation. Notice how we have two like terms or two y terms. Negative three y minus one y is negative four y. So the left side of the equation simplifies to negative four y minus 18 equals one half plus two y. So this equation is equivalent to the original equation. It's just now the left side of the equation is simplified. The next step is to add or subtract to isolate the variable term on one side of the equation. Remember our end goal is to solve the equation for a y, which means we want to isolate y on one side of the equation. And we can't do that if we have y terms on both sides of the equation. So let's isolate the y term on the left side of the equation. So if we look at the right side of the equation, notice how we have this plus two y here. We need to undo this plus two y by performing the opposite operation, and therefore the next step will be to subtract two y on both sides of the equation. And now we simplify. Negative four y minus two y is negative six y. We have negative six y minus 18 equals one half, and then two y minus two y is zero, which is the reason why we subtracted two y on both sides of the equation. Once again, this equation is equivalent to the original equation, but now the y term is only on the left side of the equation. But we still have not isolated the y term, or in this case, the negative six y term. We need to undo this minus 18 by performing the opposite operation on both sides of the equation, which means the next step is to add 18 to both sides of the equation. Simplifying, we have negative six y and then negative 18 plus 18 is zero, which again is the reason why we added 18 to both sides of the equation. We have negative six y equals, on the right side, one half plus 18 is 18 and a half. Let's write 18 and a half as an improper fraction. The denominator is two. The numerator is two times 18, which is 36 plus one, which is 37. Let's write the right side as 37 halves. Now that we've isolated the variable term, we move on to the next step, which is to multiply or divide to isolate the variable. So looking at the left side of the equation, we have negative six y, which means negative six times y. To undo the multiplication, we are probably thinking we should divide both sides by negative six, which is true, but because the right side of the equation is a fraction, instead of dividing by negative six, let's multiply by the reciprocal, which is equivalent. Well, negative six is a fraction, it's negative six over one, and therefore the reciprocal would be negative one-sixth. So let's multiply both sides of the equation by negative one-sixth. If it's helpful, we could write this negative six as a fraction with the denominator of one, which makes it much easier to see the reciprocals, and therefore the product is one. If we simplify, 
there's one six and six here and here. This is negative one times negative one y, which is positive y or just y. On the right side, nothing simplifies and therefore we multiply the numerators and denominators, which gives us negative 37 twelfths. Our solution is an equivalent equation to the original equation, but now because it's solved for y, this also gives us the solution. Before we go, let's verify this solution is correct. To do this, we substitute negative 37 twelfths back into the original equation to make sure it satisfies the equation, which means after performing substitution, the expression on the left and on the right should give us the same value. So let's go ahead and perform the check. Substituting negative 37 twelfths for y, we have negative three times the quantity negative 37 twelfths plus six, and then minus negative 37 twelfths equals one half plus two times negative 37 twelfths. And let's evaluate the left side and right side of this equation on the calculator. On the left side, we have negative three times the quantity negative 37 twelfths plus six. Make sure we enter a close parenthesis here and then minus in parentheses negative 37 twelfths and enter. Let's convert this to a fraction by pressing math, enter, enter. The left side of the equation is equal to negative 17 thirds when we substitute negative 37 twelfths for y, which means we should also get negative 17 thirds when we evaluate the expression on the right side of the equation. Let's do this. One half plus two times negative 37 twelfths. We can see from the decimal it is the same value, but let's also convert to a fraction by again pressing math, enter, enter. So this verifies our solution is correct because when we substitute negative 37 twelfths for y, the left side of the equation is equal to negative 17 thirds and so is the right side. I hope you found this helpful.